please, please. Mr. Crowder, if you'd like to make your opening hey. remarks. Thank you. Let's hear it for UMass Republicans putting this on. Come on, let them know you love him. Let's hear it for Milo. Let him know you love him. Let's hear it for Miss Summers. Let her know you love her. Time to listen up, you silly liberal fruitcakes. I came out here, I wanted to tell some jokes. Let's do some reality checks here. Do you have any idea, sir, how pathetic it must be to be you? These people wanted to come out and have a good time, hear a few jokes, some thoughtful discussion, but your head pops off the pillow in the morning with, oh, how can I be a professional victim today? Let me go in. And screw with their act just because, oh my God, your parents didn't tell you that your opinion wasn't worth that much. Look, look, they're confused. They're confused. You know why? Because I'm not your gender studies professor who has to cater to your trigger warning, microaggression, safe space bullshit. I didn't want to do this. I wanted to come out and tell a few jokes. You created this monster. We have to go. Ten more minutes of this. Let this reverberate. Let it be a life lesson. This monster right here that you're so afraid of, the face you see in your nightmares, was created by social justice warrior assholes like you. And now you have, and now you have this wonderful faggot. That's what happens. We okay? We good? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Darling, you can call me what you like. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Crying out loud, listen. Nobody here wants to hear your opinion that much. And here's what's so crazy. You couldn't wait five minutes. Unlike leftists, we have an open panel and a Q&A session because we want an open idea. Oh, I'm a racist. There you go. That's a new one. Where'd you learn that one in social human studies 101? <laughs> right next to the... Right next to the giant, I don't know, wild boar I couldn't see who said, there's no such thing as fat chips! Uh, guess what? If you think there aren't, you are one, okay? <laughs> did he just make a fat joke? Yeah, I did. No, it's okay, because I got some here, so screw you. I have a faggot pass and a fat pass today. <laughs> We wanted to come out here and tell a few jokes. We wanted to have a thoughtful discussion. We want an open conversation of ideas. You guys can't be grown adults enough to literally wait 10 minutes to the point where we open the floor. And unlike leftists, guess what? We don't try and ban you when your speakers come to school. We don't show up and protest and call them, oh, shut up, you just got owned and now you're trying to come back five minutes later. It's like George. The jerk store called, they're running out of you, George Costanza, you androgynous little amoeba. And by the way, these opinions you're yelling out, they're not even your opinions. They're your opinions from your gender studies professor, and the really reason you picked it was because you thought it was your best chance at getting laid. You just decided to walk on in to try and pick up chicks at the San Francisco retread pot-smoking drum circle, only to realize that your very glance in the direction of a woman causes a barren womb. Oh, you think this is going to get better? No, no. Gonna, is he going to check his privilege? That's not going to happen. <laughs> I don't want to come out here and give someone the finger, but it's because he walked out and this chick is a... <laughs> Start a show like that. This is absurd. At least when you go back to like Christi uh, Christina, sorry, Christina Hoff Summers days, self-professed Democrats, hippies, the retreads that you guys want to be, at least they thought they were fighting the system. They thought they were trying to create transparency. They really thought they were for free speech. You people are openly and completely against it. You're not fighting for free speech. You're not fighting for rights. You're fighting for the right to be a pussy and not hear opinions that you don't like. I'm done. Oh, oh. If you, if, you only take, if you only take one piece of advice from this, okay? Please, sincerely, don't be an asshole your whole life. All right.